Hello music lovers, thanks so much for coming by this channel. I want to talk a little bit about ACDC and Axl Rose and what the hell is going on over there. You know, of all the bands out there that were still surviving from the 70s, I thought ACDC was pretty solid. You know, I thought, uh, you know, not much is really asked of those guys. They keep coming back with the same kind of hard driving blues rock. Uh, and that's perfectly fine with us, you know. We don't mind you not changing and evolving. That's who you are, and we love you for it. Um, and Brian Johnson's been the uh, the main man since Bon Scott went away uh, around 1980. So, you know, what's going on now? Axl Rose? Really? Axl Rose? I mean, uh, Brian Johnson, I saw him recently. Like, I know he had some hearing problems, but I saw him recently. He was uh, playing with Muse doing Back in Black, and that was amazing. I don't know if you got a chance to see it. I'm going to put the link to it in the description below, but if you can, check out Brian Johnson jamming out with Muse. Like, I would like to see that, <laughs> actually, which is not going to happen, but I mean, it, I, I would actually love to go see Muse with Brian Johnson after what he did with them on uh, Back in Black. Axl Rose and ACDC. I mean, Axl Rose definitely has the gravelly screech. Um that Brian Johnson has. You know, he has that kind of gravel voice that ACDC needs, but uh, Brian Johnson's got much more of a command over it, and he comes across better. He's a better showman. I mean, he doesn't do a whole lot, but he's got a lot of swagger and a lot of attitude. Um, and uh, Axl Rose, I just don't get the same vibe off of him. You know, I'm just not feeling him. I mean, and plus, what is ACDC without Malcolm? And without Cliff Williams and Phil Rudd is gone. I mean, you got Chris Slade in there on drums. He's great. I really do love him. But, I mean, the original lineup is gone. It's only down to Angus. And it's just kind of interesting how, it, you know, we get to a point with some of these bands, you can kind of tell what they're really, really made of. And for the most part, a lot of them, it's just a business. You know, it's a business. And, um, you know, whoever holds the keys is going to keep it going as long as they can. Um and so it doesn't matter that his brother isn't there or that it's not the original band. You know, that's something that the fans hold dear, but not on the business side. That that doesn't always hold true. and It's not always the thing that uh, is the deciding factor. So I want to know what you think. What do you think about this whole ACDC thing with Axl Rose? And um, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of curious. Comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, hit subscribe, and I will talk to you later.